All right, let's move on to agenda item 11, the Nequasi Indian Mound. Bob, let's get your name on it. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I saw in the Smoky Mountain News that uh, Chief Hicks of Cherokee mm -hmm. had uh, called for the town to apologize for the poisoning of the grass on the mound. And uh, I uh, have a... I'm, I'm not sure whether you would call it a formal apology or just a letter to the chief expressing uh, our regret at what happened, uh, not pointing any fingers. But uh, here's what I propose. I think you all got a copy of it. Uh, that the town of Franklin sincerely regrets the situation regarding the killing of grass on the Boston Mayor. The town apologizes for what has taken place. Let's hope that in light of what happened, it will open a new dialogue between the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians and the town of Franklin to further talk and activities to preserve this ancient site. The town recognizes the historic and cultural value of the Quasi Mound and will continue to preserve and protect it in the perpetuity. The town also invites appointment by the chief and or the tribal council of members of the tribe to become members of the town's mound committee to offer suggestions and to be a part of any activities involving the mail. And I guess I should say future activities. And I will put that in the form of a motion to send such a letter to Chief Hicks and Tropical Council. Any second? Any, any discussion in general before we get to a motion we might look at the other time. I have a question. Was there actually a letter or are we just listening to <coughs> media stuff? Is there a letter? Do you have a copy of a letter? I do not. I have not seen one. setting requiring less maintenance, less wear and tear, 
required killing grass so that new grass could be could grow. It didn't struck, jump out to me as being an affront or an, an indignity to the mound, and certainly not to the to the eastern band, of which, of course, I'm very well connected or related to as well. And so, I do not. I hope it's not an issue really of strong sentiment to the tribe in general. I'm over there on a regular basis, and I haven't picked up on it in particular. Uh, but I am. Uh, I'm satisfied that the, that the mound belongs to Franklin, that we've been good stewards of it, and that it really is our decision to make because uh, it is under our our ownership. But I certainly don't want to lock out lock out any opportunity to uh, to work with the uh, Eastern Band because certainly there's some land there with the mound that we have we have looked at from time to time to see if we could pull together a bigger project involving a park type setting and we really hadn't gotten a lot of good feedback from the Eastern Band. Maybe if we try to re-stimulate that, that hopefully could bring them to the table because they're our friends. They certainly are. Well, that was pretty much the purpose of my uh, uh, letter, apology, whatever you want to call it, was to try to get the, uh, if, 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 if there's anything about this that hasn't hurt anything, it has brought the issue of the mound into the public eye. Uh, it does not an apology by its very nature make you think, well, I shouldn't have done it? No, sir. No, sir. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's been anything, I don't think anybody's particular said that there was anything disrespectful about it. Uh, I think there's another, excuse me, go ahead. No, go ahead. It was in the back. I know that. I don't think that. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think that, uh, that the letter is pointing out in any way that this was disrespectful. What happened? Do we have any other discussion? Bob, do you want to renew your motion? I uh, renew the motion as 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 read that uh, we send this uh, note to the chief and the tribal council uh, unless somebody wants to reword it. That'd be my motion. There a second. That motion will not stand for lack of a second. Any other business? Uh, I don't think that seconds are required anymore, Mr. Mayor. I, I have a uh, <laughs> Wait, wait, Bob. No, no, really. No, I, I think you're right. Uh, I think you're right. So it's got to come to a vote. Okay. Uh, I, I've, I've read. read it. Is it not in the procedure? I don't know. I've read. I've read somewhere that seemed to be fairly. Uh, they're Just not required as a matter of state. No, they're not. They're not. No, they're but, not. I, but I right. think they are in your. I think they're in your procedure. It has to have a second. I think so. I'll I'll check. But Bob, you know, just mm -hmm. on here. Yeah. But if it doesn't, if nobody wants to second it. That's kind yeah. of where we're getting to. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a little obvious that that's mm -hmm. the case. Okay. But for now, we're going to act as if you need a second. Let's go and tell us otherwise. Any other in this agenda? I'm. I, what do you got there? Uh, I move that that, uh, that no apology be considered by the board for this, um, and this may need to be in two two separate motions. But I'm also going to move that the town attorney uh, look into an ordinance that would ban all foot traffic and everything from the mound, other than uh, maintenance crews, town crews, that sort of thing or uh, something, some kind of special event or something that was approved by the town board. Uh, I think we've already had a motion that we put the echo, echo grass on it. Mm -hmm. No, that's not what we need to get. No, we need to take care of that too. I uh, understood uh, we've, already, we've already done that, which we've done. Yeah. That, that's part of the motion too. Uh, and I think at this point we just need to uh, uh, we need to dissolve the mound committee. And so all of that's my motion. Mr. Mayor, it is written in the, the board's uh, procedures and the uh, motion that you require a second. Let, let me ask the board this. Would you be more comfortable with the mound committee if I were not on it? 
That sounded a little pointy towards the door here, to dissolve the mouth of me. That being the case, I'll just step down from the mouth of me. Let's take these uh, one at a time, Bill. If we don't move forward on Bob's motion, then by the very next we won't be issuing the policy. I don't know if it needs a special motion that we not issue the policy if we're not voting to issue the policy. Okay. I mean, does that make, do you see where I'm going with that? Yeah. The next step, though, would be you would want John to uh, maybe propose some legislation, some ordinance which would have the effect of prohibiting foot traffic on it without basically prior approval of the Okay. On that motion, is there any discussion? For John is, is this to prevent foot traffic on the mound? Is this done solely, especially if we're going to put the Uvigo grass on it? What The whole idea is to keep even maintenance personnel off of it unless you know, we need to get on there to, to mm -hmm. patch an area. Is this why we mm -hmm. want to prevent okay. people from being on it just to okay. provide better protection? Okay. And the motion this time is just for John Hennon to work on getting us some proposed wording for us to review and mm -hmm. see if it's right. Not necessarily to vote on what it brings back. Right, okay. right. Yeah. I'll say. Any discussion on that motion? Can we get a point of clarification? Was the motion adjusted? The motion that right now I think is before the board is just for John Henning to come up with some proposed ordinance language regarding foot traffic without prior approval of the of the town. And the eco grass is still not there yet. Well, that would be another one. That's another one. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not I'm breaking right. them down. Okay. okay. That's okay. Uh, is it open for discussion? Yes. Wait, there's been a motion. Is it in Farrell, you second? I second. So, yes, open for discussion. Define on the mound. It may be that that's one job. I'm thinking the mound proper. I'm thinking the mound proper, but that can be part of it. Would that be in part of the interpretive sign? I think you should, I mean, personally, walk around the mound, read the signs and stuff as much as you want. That's what I would think. Is anybody yeah. thinking different? Well, the ego grass is going to be on the mound itself when it starts up from the grass. So there's which, still which areas to walk around where mm -hmm. people stop and take the dead zones. As such as that. The dead zone. The dead zone. Okay. The dead zone. Okay. The dead zone? No, the dead zone. The dead zone. The brown zone. The brown zone. I'm not talking brown to them. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the original thing. I think so. Yeah. Well, always been what the mound committee said, but you never varied. Okay, so we got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Opposed? Okay. The next one is what, the abolition of the committee. I think that, I think that makes happen. <coughs> Would you like to explain why, Bill? There's so many things that, that, that goes on, and it seems that with with things of this nature, it needs to be handled within the building, uh, within, within the board itself. Uh, I, I don't I don't think people ought to be able to go out on their own uh, and, mm -hmm. and solicit and, and do things. Is there anyone on this board who says that I have not kept you informed of what the mayor and committee was doing? I have emailed after every meeting, every one of them. Every one of them. Anybody want to dispute that? What? Who was the last name? It was some, quite a while back. But, so see, that's not the issue. Well, but I don't think we need it now. That's the main okay. thing. You don't think I don't, we need I don't think we need the mail committee. I think this is take, taking care of it, putting the rice on it, keeping the people off of it, end the discussion. There's a lot more that can be done with the mail as if, far as if the there is, If there stuff. is, it needs to be done by the board. Billy, the mail committee never took any action that has not been brought before the board. Well, it can take action anyway. 
and we can't take action. That's correct. So that's that's just my motion. Okay. And I respect that motion. Uh, there's a motion. Second. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Opposed? Uh, that passes. Now, let's talk about the eco-grass. Eco Somebody tell us what we're going to do. I, thought we already decided I don't think the board has ever ratified or otherwise to put their stamp of approval on it. We need to. I, I would like to vote with the full board on something like this. If we're going to make decisions regarding the mound, full board, I, I think we do. The board, the board has been yeah. informed about the, the process of putting it on there, and we have five favorable responses, and one, I guess, fair to say, negative on uh, It was, but it was after the fact. Yeah. Well, of course it's after the fact, because I didn't I mean, work with them. You, on you, it, we were told you're going to do it after it was done. It's not been done yet. The eco grass. I know, but the grass is dead, and Why? the plan is in place. Well, correct. The, the grass has to be. I mean, if you're going to put the eco grass on, but the grass has to be, has to be dead. Well, and yeah. you know where it will continue to germinate. Is the eco grass any different than the astroturf that somebody said? <laughs> Yeah, has to be put on yeah. the mound. <laughs> uh, yes, Are you offering the substitute? I'm turf. offering now that we go with the original plan in the, the astro one's turf. Artificial yes. ones, not. Mm -hmm. My take is is that it's the most conservative approach that we can take at this point in time. It's not that expensive. It's not that burdensome to do. If the board later decides that maybe. Uh, they want to add to it or otherwise change it. It's not like we've got a huge investment. We're not digging big holes, planting big trees, or otherwise disturbing the mound. So I'm not pleased that we're here procedurally to jump the gun, I believe, but we are here. And so we've got to accept that. And so I think this eco grass is, I, I, I don't know of a, a, a personally better alternative right now, so I think we should that'll be in lockstep or at least have a, a formal vote to do that. I make a motion we put in legal grass. Check. Any further discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Opposed? Any other matters relative to the Indian now tonight? 